I will be sharing with you the lovely cards that I received for my birthday. The first card is from my mom and dad. It has little cupcakes with pink sparkly icing and little pink candles. The next card was from my grandmother and it is just a simple white and pink card with a bicycle on the front with a little basket of flowers and on the back is a really pretty floral print. The last card that I received for my birthday was actually a handmade card from my dear friend Alicia. It has a adorable 50s style cat drawn on the front with the words happy birthday to you. I think this card is so cute and sweet and I am so thankful that she took the time to make a birthday card just for me. And now on to the birthday presents. The first present I have here was from my mom and dad and it is this beautiful wood case record player. I wanted a record player for a very long time now and I was very grateful to receive this one. Not only is it a very nice record player, it is also a very nice radio and CD player. To go along with my record player, my parents and brother bought me a few records as well. The first album I have here is a jazz album and it does not have a title, it's just called Getz and Galberto. Lovely jazz album and one of my favorite albums that I receive for my birthday. The next album that I have here is called Rambling Rose by Nat King Cole. Nat King Cole is one of my favorite artists, so I look forward to listening to this in the near future. The last album my parents gave me is a classical piano album called Horowitz in Moscow. It is a live album of Vladimir Horowitz playing classical piano in Moscow. The next two albums were gifts from my brother. The first one I have here is the original soundtrack of A Charlie Brown Christmas. I don't actually like the film A Charlie Brown Christmas, but I really like the soundtrack for that film. The other album my brother bought for me is the heavy metal bebop album by the Brecker Brothers. When I was little, I used to borrow my dad's copy of this album every single day. It was by far my favorite album when I was little, so I'm very happy to have a copy of my own. The last present I received for my birthday is this gold heart-shaped locket from my grandmother. I have always liked heart-shaped lockets and I actually have quite a collection of heart-shaped jewelry pieces. So this will go quite nicely in my ever-growing collection. Now that we are finished with all the presents I received for my birthday, I will now be showing you the items that I purchased for myself for my birthday. I recently went shopping at one of my local half-price book stores. Not only do they sell vintage and gently used books, they also sell CDs, movies, and records. The first album I purchased was Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture, conducted by Bernstein and performed by the New York Philharmonic. The next album I picked up was Mahalia Jackson's Silent Night album. This is one of my favorite Christmas albums to listen to. The next album was recommended by my dad. It is a wonderful compilation jazz album of Miles Davis's Greatest Hits. The next album is a compilation of Glenn Miller hits. I was very happy to find this album 
because it features so many of my favorite Glenn Miller songs. I also picked up Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue and American in Paris. Rhapsody in Blue was one of my favorite pieces of music to listen to when I was little. So I was very happy to actually find a copy of this that I can listen to again. The last album that I purchased I was elated to find thanks to my brother. It is Beethoven's Fifth, conducted by Bernstein and performed by the New York Philharmonic. I was actually looking for this specific copy of Beethoven's Fifth on vinyl but I had not found it anywhere. But lo and behold, my brother was looking in the classical section and he went all the way in the back of the section and found this copy for me. The next thing I bought was a knitting guide book called Beautiful Knitting. It features basic techniques as well as tips and tricks for problems you may come across while knitting. It also features quite a few different patterns for different knit articles. The next thing I purchased has quite a bit of sentimental value and it is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. This movie was my favorite Christmas special. I absolutely adored watching it when I was little. Over the course of one of our family moves, I lost the VHS copy that I had, so it's very nice to have a copy again that I can watch this Christmas season. After I went to the Half Price Bookstore, I visited one of my favorite local antique malls, and there I purchased four singles. I purchased Edgar Winter's Frankenstein, Men at Works Down Under, Toto's Hold the Line, and Phil Collins' Susudia.